Here's, there is a question asked, question number four on page 260 of your practice questions. This is actually a great question for us to go through. It gives you an idea of what mean is, what mode is, and it asks you to analyze a set of data. So question number four on that left side here. Here are the weekly allowances for 10 grade seven students. So underneath each student gets paid their certain allowance. Student A will say gets $9, student B $11, student C $13, and so on down that list for 10 of them. So the first question part A, what is the mean allowance? And we'll look at that up top here. So remember from yesterday, your mean is the average. And to find that average, to find the mean, you need to add all the numbers and then divide by how many numbers there are. So first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna look at all these numbers over here on our left from our data, and we're gonna add them all up. If you wanna grab your calculator to do that, go right ahead. Nine plus 11 plus 13 plus 15 plus 20 and so on. Adding that all up, we should get, and I'll draw that over here, we should get 130. So our total amount from our data is 130. The second step is to divide that by how many numbers there are. Can you divide that by how many students were surveyed? So we divide that by the 10 students. 130 divided by 10 should give you 13. So the mean number, this is part A, is 13. The average weekly allowance for 10 grade seven students is 13, let's not forget our units. That is dollars. Wonderful. Part B, what is the mode allowance? Well, if we look down here in part B, our mode is the most occurring number. So all you have to do here is look through your set of data. We see 1.9, we see 1.11, there's 1.13, there's 115, 120, there's 110, there's only 112. Oh, now we have two 15s, there's two 10s, and we see three 15s. So what number occurs most in this set of data? The mode would be $15. So the most occurring wage that these students get for an allowance every week is $15. So there's part A and part B. <clears throat> part C I'll get you to <clears throat> do on your own. Suppose two allowances of 19 and 25 are added to the list. So part C, we'd have to take our pen and we would draw on to that list, we would draw on two 19s. So we draw a 19 here and a 19 here and we draw on two 25s. We draw a 25 here and a 25 here. And then we do the same thing calculating the new mean and calculating the new mode. Okay, so hopefully this helps you understanding the difference between mean and mode and how to find them. Your knowledge check will be posted tomorrow, Thursday, or sorry, tomorrow's Friday, just because we missed Monday this week. So your knowledge check will be posted tomorrow, Friday, and due on Monday. Have a great weekend, guys. Take care. Bye for now.